We tooled around most of the rest of the day and into the afternoon, and, and we saw a lot of deer. I mean, this place is loaded with deer. And a couple of them, man, I was ready to go after them, but Pete's like, no, nah, no, nah, man, we can do better than that. And I, I don't know, it was almost like it was meant to be because I remember in the archery hunt, I kept telling Pete, man, I really want to kill a, a velvet buck. And there was a lot of bucks in velvet then, but that time of year, all the deer are hard horned. And we come over this rise, and, and Pete had seen a couple of deer in this little, in this little valley, in this little chute, two or three bucks together. And to be honest with you, I, with my little glasses, I really couldn't see him very well. And he said, there's, there's a big one in velvet. And before I could even really get a look at it, man, he had us out of the truck, and, and we, were, we were humping it trying to cut these deer off. We didn't even get a chance to really get any good footage with the camera over it. We wanted to get him on the ground. We're going to tumble. It's going down. Remember, it's going down. Coming, it's down. Out. It's coming out left. Perfect shot. Perfect shot. Perfect shot. Double long. <laughs> <Got one. laughs> Great stalk, Pete. Great stalk. Look at all the deer going. Look at them going. That was awesome, <laughs> man. That was just, that was almost well, a that bow was, shot, man. That was hoping. Well, they were right. They saw me that last time. Oh, that was so perfect. And, and you know, I, I came out here in bow season, and I'm telling you, Pete, I want a velvet buck so bad. And you're like, you're like yeah, no problem. And, and, and you know, we, you got me on a bunch of bucks, and it didn't work out. You had me come back with a muzzle loader, knowing there wouldn't be a velvet buck, mm -hmm. and we find a beautiful velvet buck. Wow. You know, it gets in your head. You know, we, we flew in last night, and, and we're, we get Pete. Pete always likes you. Got to get your guys in for the rifle range. And I had a promotion I had to do. I came in late. I know you didn't like it, but I got in the middle of the night and we didn't have a chance to sight the guns. And I don't know if it got bumped a little bit or whatever, but we shot over that 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 beautiful buck earlier. He took me down the bottom and we, and we realized the gun was about eight inches low and I held just a pinch low, but it was a real steep angle. And and we got the job done, man. Good job. Let's go look at him. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. This is the bush that he was at when his head came out on the left side of it. Yeah. And he took a tumble. You know what, though, man? I, I'm like, I know I saw the shot, and I know I saw him flip over the hill, but until I get my hands on him, I just, <laughs> I'm a nervous wreck. Oh, I think you'll find him. You can go down through here. There he is, buddy. Oh, dude, there he is, man. Oh, that's an awesome buck, Pete. I'm going down this way. You get your hands on a lot more of those than I do. <laughs> Look at him, man. That's the velvet buck Good I was job. after, man. That is? I mean, I, I would never imagine. And sometimes I guess they just hang out, you know, and they the velvet stays on longer than others, huh? Yeah, he, you know, it's hard to say. He may have an injury of some sort, but 
He's a dandy, got oh, good he, mass. Symmetrical as heck. Every point he needs. And I want to tell you something, I had a great time. That was ex as exciting a hunt and a stalk as, as I've ever been on. What do you think? Yeah, we're just checking the outside spread. We guessed him at 25. Yep, 25 and a half, so we were off by half. And that, that's good by that's mule deer standards, isn't oh, it? Yeah, that's good by. I love it. Good for us. I love it. It's good, man. It's all good. Good job. How cool is that? Day one, with a muzzleloader, I killed this monster velvet buck. And it was, you know, it was almost surreal. It was so cool. But what was even cooler? is I got like four more days to hunt. And Pete's like, hey man, we ain't done. Tomorrow, we go after an antelope. Day two, I get out of bed and I step out of my room and it is howling. I mean, I'm talking Wyoming flatland howling, 30 to 40 mile an hour winds. And it's gotten cold. There's this front moving in. They're calling for like an inch of snow by the afternoon. And you know, Pete's one of those guys, he's, he's point blank. And he said, you know, it's not a good deal. High winds and antelope hunting in flat country is not a good deal. A lot of them are gonna be bedded in the little ravines and they're not gonna be walking around. But still, he, he knew a place. And, and we made a little drive. We actually drove about an hour. A lot of his, his areas, his private leases, which is, is awesome because you don't run into other hunters, are, are miles and miles apart. So we made about an hour drive in the dark and when it started getting daylight, I'm like, this is flat country. I thought the mule deer country was flat. Heck, it was Mount Everest compared to this stuff. I mean, there was little bitty grass and wide open spaces, but lots of antelope. And we looked at antelope after antelope after antelope. And they're hard to judge. And that's what you gotta have a guide for if you've never hunted them. He can pick out a good antelope. And Pete saw a couple that I thought were shooters, but he was wanting something special. And I was proud of myself. I actually spotted the antelope that we, we finally went after. And Pete said, it's a good one. And then good turned into really good. And by the time we decided to go after it, he said, you know what? That thing might make the, the Boone and Crockett record book. That's a giant. And the amazing part, miles and miles of nothing. And within 250 yards of this bedded antelope that we'd found was an old abandoned building. It had been in there on the prairie for umpteen years and it was in a perfect spot to shield us while we made our stalk. It was awesome. 